Another post-up play, and we'll run this for anybody. We'll call this set name, and then we'll call who it's for. And even the last play, we'll call that set name, and then we'll say who it's for. We'd like to be able to run all of our post-up plays for anybody, all of our three-point shots for anybody. So we'll call the set play, and then we'll call who it's for. So this would be our set play, and then we say it for Lariah. And Lariah in this one really can't go too early. She wants to be cutting while the ball's in the air, starting to, put, to, to post up. All right, here we go. Good, and then we'll throw, throw it to that weak side. All right, one more time. Good, yeah, and pretty simple. The good thing about most of our sets is we know exactly what we're trying to get out of it, and they know exactly what, what they're looking for. What, one of the dangers of, well, we're going to set this screen, and then we're going to read what they do, is that the players don't read it right, and they don't get really what we're looking for. We know we've got a post-up situation here. A lot of times we run that for they've got a soft two that's, not, that's a great shooter, but she's not a good defender. We'll put that person in this spot. Or that person gets a foul or two, and now it could change the game. Whoever it is, they get their first foul. A lot of coaches at our level, they get their second foul. They go to the bench for the rest of the half. So once they get their first foul, we'll run this or we'll run one of those, and we'll run it for who's ever got that first foul, because if we get the second foul, now that's changed that game. That kid's sitting out the rest of the half, a lot of times they have a poor second half because they sat the whole first and it ch changes the game. 